Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day three of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you my version of what I call a triple pocket. I've got two different ideas that I'm going to share with you. So to start with, I've got a couple pieces of paper here. One is a piece of wallpaper. It's textured and has the description of the wallpaper on the back side. And then this was a print out of one of my flower photos so this is a photo that I took of some flowers in my yard and apparently I got something on it and I wouldn't use it as it is but we're going to cover it up and use it as a page so let's get started here I started with a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper this was just laying in my bin and I thought I would pull it out and use it the first thing I did was I cut it to be right at five and a quarter inches wide. I'm making about an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper folded in half to be a junk journal page. So I thought I would go ahead and just kind of show you what it looks like put onto a page. So I've took this piece of paper so far and I accordion folded it. So about, oh, an inch and a quarter, I folded that. So we have one fold. And then I'll fold it back up and then this fold is going to be about two inches and I'll fold it down and then I will fold it back up. So now we're folding, and if you kind of look, it's kind of a stair step. And this fold is about two and a quarter, almost two and a half inches. And then I folded that back and then back up again. So technically, when you glue this down on the sides and the bottom, you have one, two, three, and a fourth spot for a tuck spot. And since I'm using scrapbook paper, it's relatively thin, it's not super thick. The next thing I did was I took some Distress Ink and went around the edges across here and here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this and then we're going to rubber stamp on top of it. So what I found is I want to glue underneath these steps, if you will, for this. So it's a little bit flatter um, and it keeps its shape. So I don't have to worry about it popping free on my desk or on my uh, journal page. So I'm just going to go in and go to the back side and fold each one of these and glue it in place. All right, and then I'm going to take glue and just make a very small bead. I'm just using Aline's Tacky Glue, and I'm making a very small amount on there. You don't want too much. And then I'll just fold that up, and then I'll do the next one. Fold that up, and then I'll do this last one. And fold that up and I'll go ahead and just kind of press these sides if there's glue that comes out I'll just remove that glue I've got a cloth here that I'll rub it onto um, you can use a paper towel whatever works for you but you really want to make sure that these are adhered really well on the sides get my glue out of the way I'm just grabbing a scrap of paper here and then I'm gonna get a rubber stamp to stamp on this I had to find it first I used it for another project and it was covered up. So I've got some Ranger ink, archival ink in black, jet black, and I've got the shabby stitches. This is a set of four different style of stitches that I offer in my shop. And I just think it's a fun rubber stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up on the top part of each one of the flaps, if you will, or the leading edge up here and just stamp all the way across. You could, before you glue it, glue it together, sew this. I've got tutorials for this same type of a pocket where I've sewn it and I've stamped it just like today. All right, so we've stamped all the way around and it's okay if it's messy, it's part of it. It's just, you know, handmade, if you will. All right, so that is one little pocket so far. And I'm gonna glue that onto my page here to kind of cover up the little ink spots. I think an ink pen leaked on my page, but I thought, well, I'll use it anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half just to make sure that I've got the right size paper. Make sure everything's gonna fit oh, upside down. All right, so that's gonna fit right on there. 
and I'll just kind of center that. I'm not really worried about the ink spots. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I did put a piece of washi tape on this leading edge so it wouldn't be so thin when you go to stick things in and out of it. And I'm just going to make a glue line on three sides, leaving with the edge where the washi tape is open. All right, so that is pretty much adhered on there. I'm going to open this back up. I've got this piece of wallpaper, and I thought what I would do is basically back the print with the wallpaper, and I could use it as another pocket here and here. So I'm just going to glue across the top and the bottom and stick these two together. I really like to press on the back side of my paper to make sure that that glue is spread nice and evenly and that the page pieces are glued together really well. All right, so this is my other side. I'm going to go ahead and fold this just so I know where my center mark is. So I know that's my center. And then I've got a few scraps of paper here. So this is a piece of cardstock that I die cut and I cut it down to be about five ish, a little about five and a quarter inches wide here. It's supposed to be for a greeting card so you have that decorative edge and you can choose to put it however far you want and I just thought it was kind of pretty so I'd use that. I went ahead and put some distress ink all the way around. Then I had this piece of purple cardstock. It was just a scrap that I cut just a little bit shorter than where this opening is here. And it's just a couple inches, maybe two and a quarter inches. Think about the scraps that you have already and what would work to make a pocket in the back, a pocket here, and then I've got this other piece, which is an embossed piece of paper that I ran through an embossing folder from Crafter's Companion. This is also from Crafter's Companion. And I thought this could make one, two, and then this would be three. On this one, it's got a texture now, and I think I want to add a little bit of color to it. So I'm going to grab some supplies to colorize this. All right, so I have a Brilliance Galaxy Gold ink pad, and I re-inked it just to make sure that it was inked up really well. And I do recommend that every time that you purchase an ink pad that you go ahead and buy the re-inker. And when I say re-inker, it is a bottle of the ink that matches the pad, and then that way you can refresh it over and over again until you run out of ink in the bottle. So I'm just going to take the lid off here and what I'm going to do is just rub this over this piece of embossed paper. I may do it a few times. Oh yeah, I think I'm liking this. I'm not pushing really hard, just enough to colorize the raised portions. I'm going to go ahead and do the edge. Just kind of direct to paper is what we call this. So now it's got pretty gold all the way around. On this piece, I think I'm going to go ahead and stamp it like we did before so it'll kind of match the other side. So I'm going to grab the Shabby Stitches stamp set again. Yeah, that'll work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer this up and glue it down. So first, I'm going to take this one and glue this edge and across the bottom here. I didn't get very straight. And then I'll glue this piece to this piece lining up the edges okay and then i'm going to take this and put glue on three sides to glue on top of this piece now since i'm working with vinyl wallpaper sometimes elaine's tacky glue won't adhere to it very well it'll just pop right off so i've got the best glue ever and here's what i'm going to do i'm going to glue right down this side a little bead of this best glue ever by scrap perfect and i'm going to go across this way now I'm going to set this up here and let it air dry for just a moment. I have a tear-off notepad that was gifted to me by one of my followers, and I thought this would be really pretty to put on this page. So you've got the pretty wallpaper in the background, and then you've got a writing space here. And again, because I am working on wallpaper, I'm going to go ahead and just make a little bead of the best glued ever all the way around. And I'll just kind of make a little zigzag down the middle. Now, since this isn't going to be a pocket and it's really not going to be, you know, things poking into it, so it shouldn't get a lot of movement per se, I'm just going to go ahead and center this on the page. 
Okay, so we've got that so far. And then this is almost dry. It'll start to turn clear when it is ready. So it's just about clear. You can wait just a little bit longer and it'll get a chance to dry completely. And that makes it tacky. That's what I like about the best glue ever is that you can then stick it down onto rough surfaces or hard to stick to surfaces and it will stay in place. All right, so there is this side and there is this side that we've done triple pocket. So there's a pocket, there's a pocket, and there's a pocket. So kind of fun, huh? I've got a beeline, or not beeline, this is beeline. This is calico collage, just some butterflies that I just love as a digital download. I thought were fun. And I'm gonna take this little square and let's place it right here on this purple piece. I know that this side is pretty much dry, so let's fill it with some things. So I've got just a random tag. This is left over from, I'm not sure which kit. It might be from, not from, maybe Serendipity, or it might be from Charming Forest, one of those that had the tags in it. I print and cut out and make journal cards and then stick them in this little uh, bin, if you will, so that when I need something, I just grab it out of there. It's kind of fun to do it that way because then you really do get random images that you can put into your junk journal this way. This was a book page that I had done some uh, painting with. So it's one of my mixed media pages. I sprayed it with some Tattered Angels. I used a rubber stamp and stamped the diamond bar on there. And then this is a calico collage image and another one of my mixed media prints below. And then this will go in this pocket. So we've got one, two, Here's another mixed media card that I made. I have a tutorial on making this one. And there's one, two, three. And then this was just a scrap of cardstock that I added some distracting things. It's got a little spot on it. So it's, you know, looks like junk, you know, people might get upset because it has a spot on it. I'll put that there. And then these are a couple of tags. I think these are from Exquisite Dreamer. And I'm going to put that right there. So you got nice layers right here. So this side should be somewhat dry so we could add some things to it. I've got this little postcard. That's another image from Calico Collage that I thought would be kind of cute right there. And then I've got this little dragonfly card. I don't know if I want to put it here. Oh, I guess it would look kind of cute right there because it kind of pokes out just a little bit. And then let's find something for the back here. Oh, I've got this really pretty colorful card. So this again is another mixed media page that I had painted with acrylic paint and then I rubber stamped on top of it. And then this is a rubber stamp from Beeline Designs and these are my words that I've called uh, white words on black inspirational. And let's stick that right in here. And I didn't even do anything yet and I might not until I make the journal. There's pockets here and here. So you've got multiple pockets on this journal page. And I hope that I've given you some ideas on how to make a triple pocket. You could do it with random scraps of paper. You could do it by taking one piece of paper and accordion fold it until you have pockets. Have fun with that. There's lots of tutorials out there and you can see more as part of the Friendly Junk Journal People 12 Days of Junk Journal Gift Ideas. Check the description box below for links to my blog, the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, as well as the document that lists all the others and a playlist I think is going to show up at the end of this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Comment below if you have any questions or just comments of what are your favorite supplies to use to make pockets for your junk journals. And hopefully this is inspiring to you to make some gifts to give to some of your friends. All right, everybody, share this video with your friends and thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.